I'm going to talk now about preparing your statement. You'll hear that word used a lot in advice and in documents about asylum, but what does it actually mean? A statement is just a written document with your story in it, starting from when you were a child all the way through to now and looking to the future and what's going to happen to you. And that's your asylum statement. It deals with all of your life, all of your details, and it deals with the fear that you have about being sent back to your own country. Remember, that's what we say when we're claiming asylum. It's really important that it is a written document. You may be giving your statement to the Home Office to explain about your case in more detail. But almost more important than that, it's your way of getting clear in your own mind what's important, what's relevant, what's happened to you, so that you're prepared when you have your asylum interview. The best way to prepare for that interview is to go through your whole life to date and write it down in your statement. When you write your statement, and hopefully you'll be writing it with the help of your lawyer, you need to be as open as possible. You'll be talking about things that are very difficult, that are very personal, private, maybe things that happened a long time ago, maybe things that you don't want to think about. You don't want to think about what's going to happen if you were to be sent home now. You need to be detailed. You need to explain what happened, how it happened, why it happened, and you need to be explaining at every stage how you felt about things. And all those things are really important because if someone's going to believe you when you tell your story, it has to be your story in detail. Your asylum case is going to be decided by a Home Office official. And in order to take that decision, they're going to have to understand what it means to be you and to live your life and to believe you that you're telling the truth. So it's really important that your statement sets out all that information so that they can understand what it is to live your life in your country. So what format do we use for this? It can be very simple. It has to be written and you need to start at the beginning and start with the easy things like who you are, where you were born, who your family is, where you went to school, whether you worked when you were in your own country. The nice, simple biographical details. Those things you get down on paper and it makes it easy because you've then started. And then you're gonna get into more detail about the things that are relevant to why you need to get asylum in the United Kingdom. If you've got access to a word processor, obviously it's much easier if it's word processed, you can change it, you can update it, you can correct it, you can put things in the right order so that they all happen in the date order that they occurred in. But if you don't have that, and if you don't have a lawyer helping you yet, then do it handwritten, that's fine. It all helps. How long should your statement be? Well, it needs to be as long as your life. You're telling your life story and you're explaining your sexual orientation or your gender identity. That's something really personal and really difficult to talk about. And so the chances are that statement's going to be quite long. If it's really short, then you haven't probably put in enough detail. The statement's probably going to need to end up being in English, but if that isn't your first language, or if you're not confident about writing or speaking in English, then start off doing the preparation work in your own language, because it'll help you later when you're explaining yourself through an interpreter or when your English is better. 